Good morning, YouTubers. Sorry about the shaky video, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do when you're driving. I'll have to do some more calls. It's about 9 o'clock in the morning on Monday morning, December 21st, 2015. Hey, people only like four more days to Christmas if that makes you excited. In my case, it don't, considering that person that you guys call Santa Claus is not stopping by. At least in my house, anyway. He might go by yours, but he's not coming by mine. It's been a slow year, so there's pretty much no money in my home. But life is what it is, unfortunately. Oh, shoot me. Kind of early today, so. I'm gonna go out, do a couple of toes. <coughs> And uh, really, stacking cars. That looks real safe. Not. But, I'm gonna go out here and do these calls. Uh, go and try making some money. That if we'll get any tips. Everybody's trying to save all their money for Christmas, so. Nice scenery around here, anyway. You cut your ring yourself, jump onto the highway, then I gotta. According to this, kind of drumbo. Then we got two runs in drumbo, so. truck still sitting there. Yeah, welcome to Ingersoll. The cabs. I don't know if they went out of business or they just relocated. One of the two. There's a pretty freight shaker. Motors. We had a couple of old Jeeps hiding in the back there. Old Cherokees.
the internet shut down most of your video stores. Convenience stores do a pretty good job of renting videos like DVDs, but the internet's pretty much taken that, taking all that away from you. Store next door is now for rent. Ingersoll really hasn't changed at all. Princess is probably gone, uh, gone to work. He's probably on his way up by uh, Wellington County. Maybe he isn't there already. This year's kind of been slow, it's been more rain than snow, and uh, yeah, my cupboards are pretty bare. I got a couple of boxes of craft in there that actually, when I look at the expiry date, I'll probably find out they're outdated. So, you know, that kind of stuff's not cool. Maybe I get some tips before Christmas, but I ain't gonna guarantee nothing. Still waiting on my pay pay. Can't remember what pay pay is, that's sure for vacation pay. And, uh,. videos up about that and then uh, on top of that we still got to throw some videos up for you all about the, uh, the trailer thing because what I'm going to do with that trailer at least my game plan is if things work out is I'm going to see how the trailer is as it is and then start seeing about surplus materials because instead of using one by ones I want to use two by fours but instead of putting the two by fours like you would for a house I'm going to turn them the other way to give you a wider plate since the trailers are primarily made out of the one by ones right we'll do it up so they're wider and I'll throw some insulation in there you know, frame it up the outside of it, all nice and neat. And then, uh, once that's done, on the outside, windows and all that wonderful stuff, we'll uh, do the inside, cupboards and shelving and stuff like that. So you can hear those things we're playing, so just gave a bit of some more fuel. But, uh, yeah, see what we can do. 
get it all done up. I want to lengthen it too. I want to put it on the back of it. Get some good cards. I got to get a welder. I see I get a couple welders. I want to get a MIG. I want to get an arc. The TIG would be nice too. I should set them up so they're in the back of the trailer. So the trailer's technically got an extension cord so I can plug into like a 220 outlet with the welders. So the breaker to choose which welder I want to use unless I got one all in one welder. Okay, he's emailing while he's driving there. And uh, put the back door so they look, you know, I don't know if we want to go with a roll up door or like barn doors like the track the tractor trailer would have. So when you look at the back, it looks like a tractor trailer. So I want to square, make it more square. If you look at the most camper trailers, they're rounded across the top. I don't mind that rounded left to right, but I'm thinking if I could, you know, look at the back, but going down the road, it looks more like a uh, tractor trailer. Look at the side profile, or it's a tractor trailer with windows, right? So that kind of thing. But that's you know what I'm trying to do. Like I want to add on, you know, technically, what I like to do is get my hands on another trailer. So I got two trailers. Cut the other trailer and weld it in if I can. And then that would give me the four axles. So I got the weight distribution that I need. So if I'm pulling it back, I throw another axle or two in the back and then I carry the weight like the welders, the water tanks, big propane tank preferably. But that's just my ideas, you know. You see anybody can go out and buy a trailer, yeah, all right, you need the money, understand, da 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 da. But you're buying somebody else's idea of a trailer, you know. You know, you, you go out, you get the uh, Warrior, Road Warrior trailer, da da da. Toy hauler, and as long as you buy one that year, they're all the same, right? For the most part, they're the same blueprints. Do it yourself, a little better. At least my opinion is, you know, it'd be a little better. But that's just my opinion. Not to mention, you mold two trailers into one, they can get twice the uh, liquid storage underneath the belly of them. Uh, two furnaces, preferably, two hot water tanks, you know, you can double stuff up. Be more of an all season trailer, and if you're doing it up, you know what kind of stuff to watch out for and what kind of stuff you need to do. But anyway, the video's getting a little long and I got work to do, as usual. Unfortunately, this, this camera doesn't, won't give me the ability to let you guys see exactly what I'm doing. We're working on that again and uh, we'll see how that plays out. Still, you know, comment, like, dislike, subscribe, please. By all means, subscribe. You should get a notification to post a new, a new video up. You know, it is something small. And, uh, when I start getting into putting up some really cool stuff, like I would like to fix cameras up before the snow hits the ground so that you guys can see what's going on the outside of this, this old rig. That way you guys have an idea what's going on. We do out here. Uh, you'll, you'll get a notification then, right? If you subscribe, that there's a, a new video up. And hey, look! Oh, he was involved in the 50 car pileup that was out here a couple years ago, or you know, he pulling somebody out of the ditch, or rolling a car right side up, or working with the police, or you know, whatever. You guys got a, got a rough idea what the tow trucks do. Towing industry is about a real rough idea. Let's see if we can do set it up so you guys can get like a first hand look at what goes on. Truthfully, not edited. Because this isn't edited. I don't really, and I'll be honest, I don't have time to edit a video most of the cases. I have time, but I don't have time to edit videos. So I'll try to give it to you straight. Anyway. If I don't see you around, I'll see you square. We'll catch you all on the flip side. We're out of here.